Good evening. Wednesday night's triple homicide near McMillan Park in Lake Charles has city police naming this case as the worst act of violence they have ever seen. The victims are 20-year-old Jaminskian RV, 23-year-old David Galmore, and 20-year-old Fitzgerald Guillory, all of Lake Charles. We've been covering the incident since it happened, and KPLC's Olivia Vidal joins us tonight with all the details. Yeah, Cynthia, Chief Don Dixon says this was the most dangerous person he's ever seen in his 11 years of being police chief, just to show you the magnitude of this particular case. But detectives and officers with LCPD have been working around the clock to get some answers. Here's the surveillance from a gas station near Fitz and Ryder in U.S. Highway 171 Wednesday night. You see a man hang out of the car window pointing a gun at another car. Lake Charles police believe this man, 18-year-old Armanta Hadnot, is the shooter. They identified 23-year-old Lon Porter as the driver. He was arrested and charged with three counts of aggravated assault with a firearm and possession of a firearm by a felon. But LCPD believe Hadnot is a big threat to the area. And he's probably the most dangerous person in America right now. Involved in two separate shootings, three killed, attempted to kill three more in a car, shot another one who was wounded. Uh, I can't think of anybody in America more dangerous right now. But it didn't stop at the gas station. A few hours later at McMillan Park, had not, and another man approached some men playing dice, forced them to lie down, robbed them, and shot one man while he was lying on the ground. Two other men fled the scene but were shot by had not. As one of the victims is running, he's running towards that playground as the subject is running a shooting at him, where the, in the background the children are. Total disregard total disregard of humans. Three people dead, one man arrested, another, the suspected killer, on the run. This is the most serious thing that's happened since I've been chief. Let me assure you, the families of these three victims, that we will leave no stone unturned. You've got that promise. Police believe Hadnot is driving a dark green 2001 Buick Century with Texas license plate BK6J808. The car has a hood ornament of an angel with orange wings. There is also a reward for any information leading to his capture. And while Dixon considers this man to be a threat, we were wondering why it took so long to know of a man on the loose. So we asked him, why did it take until 4 p.m. Thursday afternoon to learn of someone involved with the homicide considered dangerous with unknown whereabouts? Question. When were the suspects identified? When were the suspects identified? Mm -hmm. For which? For Amanta and uh, Mr. Porter. What time did this morning. this morning? How come the public wasn't notified sooner of um, these suspects? We didn't find out this, till this morning. No, it's 4 p.m. now, and we're just learning of a killer on the loose. How come we're just finding out now it's 4 p.m. and not this morning? We had several interviews still going on, witnesses coming in. Uh, we still have a unidentified subject out there that we don't know who is with them. Uh, we have notified law enforcement. Uh, to be on alert, uh, and quite frankly, we don't have the uh, warrants yet for the uh, uh, homicide. The only warrant we have on him right now is the existing warrant from the drive-by shooting. And you can view more of the press conference from this afternoon on our website, kplctv.com. At your service, Olivia Vidal, KPLC 7 News.